salut and welcome back to my sweet summer moments. After spending a lot of time in big cities and mostly in the rain, I was so ready for a couple of days in the sun on my own. As hard as it was to say goodbye to Pia in Paris, I couldn't have enjoyed the introduction of the south of France more than I did. So I'm gonna take you with me on my solo trip to Nice and the very slow days I've spent there after all the hectic impressions before. While I was traveling, the time ran and I have some big life-changing decisions to make in the next couple of weeks. So that caused me a little bit of anxiety and that's why I was using the time on the beach to meditate, journal and read a lot. Some journaling prompts that have helped me a lot to cope with the overwhelming feeling about my future are What do I need more of in my life right now? What do I want to be for myself? If I was living my dream life, what would it look like? How am I feeling recently? What am I most excited for? Three things that I'm proud of recently. What has been giving me energy? What has been draining my energy? things I'm grateful for, three short-term personal goals, three long-term personal goals, and also a very detailed to-do list of what needs to be done to get me in the right direction of where I want to be. This helps me to see the next couple of weeks as a process, step by step, and not to be frightened by the whole staircase. And by the way, not that she would need it, but a big shout out to Eva Malot, without whom I would never got into journaling, which had really helped me a lot lately. Unluckily, an old man tried to sugar me that evening, which resulted in me not leaving the hotel that night because I was too afraid to walk alone. But maybe I will pick up on that topic in another video. But the next day started off at the beach, of course. As I said, meditating has helped me so much to reduce my stress levels and honestly it has been the best feeling to lay at the beach and just dive into some guided meditations. There are some great ones out there, you can just look it up and I would recommend to try it 100%. And don't put pressure on yourself that you have to be calm all the time and do a one hour meditation, you can just start with two minutes, five minutes and you will recognize that it feels amazing. As much as I love to travel with my friends this summer, this solo trip has been one of the best experiences I've had. My friends and I get along so well together so that there hasn't been any struggles about where to go or what to do. But when you're on your own, it's just the next level of freedom. You can go wherever you want, whenever you want. 
And as I said, I'm a people-pleasing person and I often feel responsible for the well-being of others, even though they would never expect that from me. And that can be great because I often feel like the big sister, but it can also be exhausting. And when you're traveling alone, you're also only responsible for yourself. It has been an amazing experience and I think I will do some solo trips in the future as well. Next I got some ice cream and stumbled up the streets of Nice. I don't know why, but it just drew me into that direction and it was very nice to just let go, don't know where you are and just walk around and I discovered some very cool spots that afternoon. And after I just kept walking and did an unexpected little hike, this is where I came out. And regardless of my little trip, some friends of mine have also been in Nice at the same time and we spent some time and ended the night at the beach with some very good conversation. Although my night ended very late, I still stick to my promise that I made for myself to go see the sunrise and go into the ocean. And I have to admit, I haven't been in the ocean the whole time because I was too afraid and I was alone. But that morning I went and it was wonderful. And yes, before you judge me, I took my phone with me into the ocean. But honestly, it's so common to get robbed while you're in the ocean and all my important data for traveling is on my phone so I couldn't risk to get it stolen. Plus, I took some cool videos that I'm so grateful for.
at this point the rain has been the theme of this summer for me. And now that I know what nature had in store for me that evening, I don't even complain. I just sat there and watched the sunset for the next three hours or so. This has been one of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen. And I had some classical music in my ears and watched the sky change its colors. This trip also made me realize that I always want to keep the childish belief in magic and fairy tales. I know that scientifically it doesn't make sense to believe in such things and sometimes I feel like the more knowledge you gain, the less you believe in the supernatural. But honestly, I don't believe it because I truly believe that there is something supernatural, but because I want to believe it and I want to keep that spark of mystery in my life. The imagination of white horses and the whites of the waves, a beautiful goddess whose dress is the night sky. I know, quotation marks in the real world, animals don't talk to you. But first of all, what is reality? And second of all, isn't it nice to sometimes just live in your own kind of movie? Call me cheesy or too emotional, but I just love to appreciate Mother Nature in that way. And yes, I am a very emotional person, and the music together with that energy just have been so beautiful that it maybe caused one or another happy tear. But I'm so grateful for life and to be on this earth. And I feel like most of the time we take all those small things for granted very easily. This trip has been so soul-soothing. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.